Hello, and we are ready to start doing our inputs for our game framework. So like I said, the inputs is uh, quite big because it's there's a lot of keys on the keyboard. So uh, let's start off with our inputs class. Let's make input is equal to function. And um, also at the very end, right after we make our inputs is equal to function, let's say var input is equal to new input. Uh, let's just put inputs with an S. Uh, just because it's cool, I guess, to show it's different from the input class. A uh, different variable, that is. So uh, this is the long part where we have to make a bunch of variables. So we'll start off by saying this dot a is equal to false. So now, uh, if you have Notepad++, just hold down Control and press D like a million times so that you get this big list of stuff. And now that you have a good amount, let's change the next one to B, and then the next one to C, and then the next one to D. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, yeah, and then E, and then F, G. I'm going to pause the video. Um, you get the idea. All right, I've finished uh, my A through Z, and now I'm gonna make some special keys. I'm gonna make left, right, up, down, um, um, enter, space, this dot, mouse is down, um, What's, what's what's a couple more? Uh, let's do this dot uh, mouse position is equal to vec uh, new vector two zero. Um, and I like to add also a uh, this dot uh, offset is equal to new vector two. And this dot clamp is equal to new vector 2. So the reason for mouse position is obvious. It's the, mouse, the position of the mouse. The reason for offset is say you have a canvas that's not top left of the screen and it's more 100, it's 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down. We want to make our offset 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down so that our mouse position, because our mouse position is calculated from the top left hand corner of the screen. And uh, we don't want that. We want, it to, we want it to start from the top left hand corner of our canvas. So uh, offset is always going to be the top left hand corner of the canvas. We can uh, even expand this to maybe be in a better place, but I like it here because I'm mo it's mostly really only for uh, the mouse and other input methods like determining uh, if you're pressing right, if uh, the or if you're pressing left, if the characters, I don't know, something. It's it's usually just for inputs. Uh, I may be wrong, but uh, yes. So that's our basic setup of our inputs and uh, now we go to the next couple parts of the inputs which uh, are also long-winded. So we'll start, uh, I, I like to start with the mouse move so we keep track of the mouse position first. So uh, to do that we uh, would just do a document event actually. So we want to do document dot document element dot on mouse move is equal to function and pass e as the argument. And then we need to uh, uh, set the event so uh, uh, we can set it by saying e is equal to e or uh, if e is null then we can say uh, e is equal to uh, uh, what is it? It's window dot event I think it is. Uh, yes. So we want to say our input dot mouse uh, position dot x is equal to the uh, e dot client width plus the input dot offset dot x. Um, actually, minus minus the offset dot x, 
and the same thing for y input dot mouse position dot y is equal to e dot client height minus input dot offset dot y so uh, that's how we set our mouse position and um, now since we set our mouse position let's also set our um, our uh, mouse click so let's do on mouse down is equal to function uh, we can pass en but not use it and let's copy that and say on mou mouse up is equal to function so instead of here we just say input dot mouse is down is false I mean true true and input dot mouse is down is equal to false so when we let up on the mouse the uh, it turns off the inputs uh, click this next one we're going to check on the um, document dot document element dot on key down is equal to function e and I'm actually going to copy this um, this from my notes uh, because it is very long. so uh, I'll paste it and you can see it's very very long so I will explain it and you can copy it down um, so we'll start off by saying uh, making a key code here just an uh, integer value and if window event, so if window event exists, then key code is equal to window dot event dot key code. Uh, if window event doesn't exist and e exists, then key code is equal to e dot which. Um, that one I was always confused about. Uh, so, anyways, um, let's continue down to the uh, switch here and we take in the key code for the switch so uh, I put these in uh, numerical order so 13 will be input enter 32 will be space 37 is left 38 is up 39 is right 40 is down you can also pause the video because I'm sure you can't type as fast as I'm scrolling through this uh, so 65 through uh, continue on will be uh, so 65 through whatever will be Z uh, A through Z 65 through 90 will be uh, Z I don't think there's any breaks in that 65, 66, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10. yeah so I don't see any breaks so uh, make 65 through 90 a through Z and set all of those equal to true that's on key down so now that we've got that covered let's make our on key up which we will copy the exact same function we'll paste it below and all we have to do is change all of these trues to false and also change this to on key up so uh, we'll go through and change all of these to false is a uh, dreadful process of let's just highlight here control F replace true with false uh oh didn't do that in selection let's try that again in selection replace all huh. interesting alright so there we go we have our key up and key down so uh, that was uh, quite a bit. <laughs> um, if you didn't catch it, remember just go through and pause it. Uh, I'll post up the code if I if I I gotta remember to do that. Um, so uh, yeah, this is all of them, uh, all of the keys that we really need, and we can even test it out. So inside of our main, let's uh, inside the update. No, no, no. Inside the draw, we're going to draw... Uh, hmm, this is so hard to say. Yeah, inside the update, 
we're going to say if input dot a then we're going to say um, nm dot update we'll say nm dot position dot x plus equals or minus equals uh, five um, so that's for a and let's make an else if else if it is equal to D we'll do a plus equals five we'll copy this if uh, we'll make this um, like that we'll also make this an else if I guess uh, we'll make the y minus equal 5 if you press W and we'll have the S plus equals 5 on the Y so uh, else if none of these are pressed we're just gonna update him so he runs in place so this will allow me to run left and right uh, it won't swap out, swap out my animation um, you'd have to do that through updating the animation's uh, length um, and uh, start row so uh, we would update the limit sorry I said link or, or uh, length we'll update we would update the the uh, limit and we do that by set limit actually um, sorry I paused there for a second uh, actually we won't be setting the limit because it's still gonna be eight frames what we're gonna be doing is setting the row and the column so inside of our main if I'm running to uh, the right I want to make a separate if here if uh, if input dot a or input uh, yeah just dot, if input dot a then we're gonna do anim dot set row equal to zero because we're gonna start from the first row else if input dot uh, sorry if it's D then we're gonna set it to zero if it's a we're gonna do anim dot set row equal to two because the first two rows are for the animation uh, are for uh, sorry are for the right animation and the next two are for left so if all works out well we should have a nice movable Mario uh, but it broke input is not defined fantastic um, this video is becoming too long so we will debug this error and uh, finish up officially on the next one for inputs thanks uh, for watching